I have started the careers or helped start the careers of many individuals. When I worked at a college, all my workers were students. I had students who were studying engineering, computer science, information system, accounting, counseling, education, pre-med. Some of them were studying one thing, they worked for me and then they went into information technology and they still are working in information technology at a company. Their class background was very helpful to them, but their work background is what set them on their career path. I believe that it's very important for people to have experience in customer service. If you're starting your career, maybe you're, you're looking at something like, I, I just don't want to do those jobs, a McDonald's worker or a retail worker, something that you're just like, I don't want to do that job. I don't want to do that kind of job. I would contend that that kind of job everyone should do. When you work in customer service, be it phone support, in retail, at McDonald's, there is something about customer service. It will help you in pretty much every industry you go into. If you're in high school, if you've graduated and you're in college and you're looking for a part-time job, don't shy away from those customer service type positions. There's something humbling about working in a position where you're serving others. You will learn how to become a good customer and you will probably start appreciating other customer service people very quickly. I encourage a lot of people to work in some sort of customer service industry. And it's not just because I manage customer service. There's people I have hired who haven't had an IT background, but they've had a customer service background and they've been amazing because they're teachable. And there's people I've hired who have had an IT background and not much of a customer service background, and they've had to learn how to be more personable and communicate. It's a lot easier to teach someone technical skills than it is to teach someone a personality. I tend to gravitate toward people who have good customer service skills. If I need people with deep technical skills who don't need to be answering the phone and communicating with customers, then yes, I might look at someone who's a little more technical. But I have watched people come in with good customer service skills, latch on to technical training, and excel in technical knowledge. I've also watched people come in with customer service skills that haven't necessarily clicked with everything technical, but man, were they good on the phone with the customer, gathering information. My customers loved that person because that person was good on the phone. Even though that person might not have been my highest performing technical agent, that was the person I wanted to answer the phone for pretty much every single person that called. They could gather information, maintain a conversation with the customer. The customers love talking to them and that person would gather the information and hand that ticket off to someone who could accomplish the goal. Was that person performing as well as the other agents when looking at technical measurements? No. But was that person performing better than the other agents when it came to customer service scores? Yep. I kept that agent because that agent was so good with the customers and I wanted that person there. I have had people who I've hired in who have been very technical and haven't been able to accomplish the customer service piece of the job. They haven't been able to answer the phone that well, but they were good technically and they were picking up information. And I've had employees who have kind of faltered on both fronts. I will never shy away from someone who doesn't have technical background if they have really good customer service. Having that customer service background is important for pretty much anything you're going into because you're going to be dealing with customers in one way or another. You might say, there's jobs out there that don't deal with customers. You're absolutely wrong. If you think that a job doesn't deal with customers, you're defining customers wrong. Me as a leader, if I were to ask you who is my customer, you might say, well, your customer is the customer of the company you work for. No, my customer is my employees. My customer is those agents. My customer might even be upper management. I need to provide good statistics or measurements or whatever we're doing here at the service desk. I need to provide that for my customer who is upper management at the company. I might have two groups of customers. My agent's customers might be our customer base that we're selling our product to our end user. By extension, th those are a part of my customer, but my customer is my agent. Upper management's customer might be stockholders, shareholders. They might have customers within the organization as well as maybe some vendors or other external customers. We all have customers. Every position has a customer. If you're working in a warehouse and you're not interacting with anyone else, you still have a customer. You're building something for a customer. You're putting something together for a customer. Customer service is important to understand regardless of whether you're interacting with your customer base. Having experience in customer service not only makes you a better employee and helps you understand the why behind your organization and helps you empathize with the people who are absorbing or using your product, it also helps you understand how to be a good 
customer. If you understand customer service, you're probably gonna be a little nice to the person behind the counter. And if you understand customer service and you're not nice to the person behind the counter, you're just probably not that good of a human. I think it's very important for people, especially younger people who maybe they're getting ready to go into a job and they don't know what career they want. I think it's very important for them to not shy away from customer service positions. Don't shy away from those retail positions. Don't shy away from those food service positions. Those are really good positions and they will teach you a lot. I had an agent when they took the job, they were terrified to answer the phone and they couldn't even call a service provider to try to get them to come out to their house to work on something for their house. They were just terrified of talking on the phone. And they got a job answering the phone at a help desk just after a few months. That anxiety is gone. They now know how to talk on the phone. Get a job in customer service. Get a job where you have to talk to people and communicate. That's gonna help you too. When you have to call up your internet service provider and ask them about something going on, when you have to call to order a pizza, and I have watched people enter into these customer service positions and it has helped them in various areas of their life they're not afraid to answer their phone anymore when it rings it has helped them in many many ways other than just giving them experience in a technical industry don't look down on customer service positions there's a lot of amazing experience that can come from that and I bet you've had customer service experience where you're the customer and you recognize good customer service and bad customer service. Remember good customer service, focus on good customer service, and make sure you're giving surveys to those good customer service people. Good customer service surveys typically are the best reward you can give to a customer service agent. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it insightful. If anything, please take away from this that customer service jobs are important. Customer service roles are not something to shy away from. Customer service roles can help you grow in ways that maybe you aren't even aware of. Maybe you're not even where you have to grow in that. If you are looking for a job, don't shy away from these positions. It's extremely gratifying to help people. Customer service is excellent experience for anyone, any industry, and I highly recommend try it before you say that position is beneath me.